today we are doing a spike tutorial with this spooky spider look. We hope it helps you find the perfect Halloween costume. Keep watching. As you can see, I already have lashes on. I think I have a C curl 05 and they're done in a natural style. We're gonna add to what I have to create a spike look for my spider Halloween costume. Mapping is so important when you do any style, but especially an advanced style like spikes. As you can see, we have the spikes three to four millimeters longer than the normal lengths. You can see we also go slightly down in length on the sides of the longest spike. We do this to create dimension and not too much of a dramatic spike. We're just easing into the spike. Now let's get into it. We start by adding the spikes. Spikes are gonna be made with a thicker volume lash, 07, or you could do 05. When you're creating these spikes, keep them extra narrow, as narrow as possible. Keep in mind your bases will be thicker than normal. Once your spikes have been added, add the regular fans to fill the lash line. Ta-da! There's a spike look. Now let's head to the makeup studio with Eli from the Sparkle Bar and Scott Style. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, click that bell for notifications. <laughs> <laughs> you're so good. <laughs> um. If you live in Scottsdale, Arizona, or if you're visiting Scottsdale, Arizona, you have to go check out Eli at the Sparkle Bar. Okay, so first we're gonna start with a really emollient like gel eyeliner, and sanitation is key, so we're sanitizing it first. <laughs> because we don't want any dirty cooties. So I'm gonna start with the smokiness um, first before we get into all the drama. drama. Oh, drama. <laughs> so now that we've got our, our base on there, we just want it nice and dark. I'm gonna take like a fluffy guy like this guy. Okay, and then we're just gonna yes. go to town. And I always like to start um, out little yeah, and then like add more as I go because black is not forgiving. So um, you always wanna start out small before you go like ham. And then what was your last So I'm leaving the center open because I'm gonna add some fun up in there. So you can see by just using that creamy black product. It literally looks like we did like three colors already, but it like is one product, yeah, one brush. So right now what we're doing is carving out a little spotlight or halo, whatever they want to call it these days. When I learned it, it was called a spotlight. So basically it's like you're doing a normal eyeshadow look and instead of doing it where it's just like gradiates to light to dark, it gradiates from dark to light. Mm -hmm. This is why it's very important that you always tend to follow rules of cooking when you're doing makeup. So, you know, like when you bake, you do all your wet ingredients first, and then you do your dry. So, mm -hmm. if you can see, look up, you see how there's like a little bit of skips in here where I've blended the cream. So that's why you always wanna follow with a the same color like shadow or powder and stuff because it'll help fill in any gaps and it'll also look more seamless and it'll last way longer. And what's great is this is okay if it's messy because again, there's nothing on her face right now so we can clean it up, 
all that good stuff. We're just getting the color on there so it's on there. We want an extreme under eye, but we don't want it to like be messy, if that makes any sense. So I brought it down really far, and now I'm just cleaning up any like kickback that I don't want. And I'm gonna take this guy with whatever's left to make sure there's no makeup here. <laughs> What I do is I think about it, I think about the spider legs like either in two or three sections. So I want the longest ones to be three sections, I want the shorter ones to be like two sections. So I just get the lines on there and then I want them to be thicker on the ends where they meet um, because it just adds more of like a creepier aspect. And what I do is to make these like nice and sharp at the end is I just kind of release my pressure as I'm like letting go. So it kind of like almost skips a little bit. So it just looks like the tips just kind of like fade into the skin. Putting some right on the tip. So you can see like already it like kind of makes it look like that is raised, raised a little up. bit. And then I'm gonna put a little notch here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because when she looks far away, it already looks like it's coming up. So we're using like a really like light gray kind of color, like a, oh. Wowza, 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 already. Now, these areas right here in between the shadow and the leg, we want to brighten a little bit. Don't have to add highlight to everybody, but at least mostly everybody. And what's great is, is it doesn't have to be like super perfect, because it's really just there for detail. You know what I mean? Like this. You're gonna hear a loud noise. Both of you guys are too. Don't be alarmed. Oh, this looks so cool. Now that I have my lashes and makeup together, let's talk outfit. I had these pleather pants um, and just in my drawer. They are from Revolve, they're my favorite. And my onesie and my stiletto pleather boots, they're from Fredericks of Hollywood. I used these two items in a costume a few years back. And then I have this just little turtleneck that I put underneath my onesie. I think it's from Forever 21. So I grabbed some black stuff from my closet and I was ready to go with my spider look. Thanks for watching. Hope this video gives you great ideas for your Halloween costume. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you soon.